Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of May 6th to May 12th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Cancer, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Cancer in regards to love for this week. Cancer, please. All right, first card we have is the Empress with the star in reverse with the Fool. At the bottom, Seven of Pentacles, the World, the Hermit card, and the Ten of Wands. All right, so I am getting an energy from you, Cancer, of feeling tired with the Ten of Wands and the Empress. Um, some of you feel tired of working, um, or you feel tired of something not, something constantly not working out for you, something constantly failing. Even with the Seven of Pentacles here, it feels like you're trying to manifest something. It feels like you're trying to, you know, make something grow. And you might feel like no matter how much you try or no matter how much you invest into it, it doesn't grow. With the world in reverse, you don't want to let this go, though. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and, and grow with the world in reverse, this is telling me that you don't want to close out this cycle. You don't want to walk away. You don't want to give up on it. You just want to figure out with the Hermit card how to fix it or how to make it better. Star is in reverse, which means you're losing hope. You're losing faith. Um, you're also losing motivation here with the Fool card in reverse. But you're still here with the Empress card. You haven't, you haven't left the building. You're still... You're still holding on to whatever it is that you want to experience, manifest, and accomplish for yourself. Or if this is a relationship. For some of you, this is a project of yours, a, a, a career, money, you know, some sort of goal that you have that you've been trying to move forward with. Or this could also be a relationship, okay? Now, with the Empress showing up in the upright position with the Seven of Pentacles, I will say that whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, I do feel like you are going to be successful. It just kind of looks like the process of growth is very slow, but I don't see that it's going to not work out in the end. Even though it's been a difficult journey with the Ten of Wands, I do get a feeling of success here. I want to clarify this just to make sure. Hmm. I feel like there's success, but I also feel like if you're not successful in whatever you're trying to do right now, I feel like you might be, it might be that you're going to be successful in something else, but it doesn't mean that the work that you're doing right now is going to go to waste because it's not going to go to waste. It's going to serve you and it's going to help you in whatever other thing you end up doing instead. 
Okay, so that's that's a, st a specific storyline I'm getting for some of you Cancers. It could be that whatever you're working on right now, that's going to grow and that's going to end up eventually being successful for you. Or you're going to end up getting the outcome that you want um, eventually because the Seven of Pentacles, it is a slow moving energy. However, the other storyline I'm getting is that maybe it's not going to work out, but something else is going to work out. Um, however, it doesn't mean that what, what you're doing right now is going to go to waste. It is going to help you and serve you in whatever other, um, whatever other thing is going to be successful, successful for you instead of this. Okay. So those are two storylines there. All right. Now, let me clarify to see if I can get um, love messages. Spirit, what can you tell me about the Empress, please? I'm getting something about pregnancy also. Pregnancy? Some of you are, are wanting, preg wanting pregnancy to happen for you. That's random. Um, if that's the case, I feel like you're, that's going to be successful for you. Maybe some of you are pregnant. Seven months. Maybe in seven months is what I'm getting. All right. Tell me about the Empress, High Priestess, to the Three of Cups, to the Death card in reverse. All right, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, <clears throat> Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, Three of Wands, Seven of Cups, Page of Swords. Okay, so there's a relationship here that... Um, you want this relationship to turn into a commitment and it's not a commitment right now with the three of cups. You might feel like this relationship is a very casual relationship, uh, a non-committal relationship, and you, that's not what you want. You want the relationship to grow and to turn into a stable long-term commitment. And you're worried that it's never going to happen with the Nine of Swords to the Two of Pentacles. Some of you are worried that this person doesn't want the same thing that you want. And that you're wasting your time or that this person is, is wasting your time. So that's a message related to love, okay? That's a different message related to love. I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting to see what's going to happen between you and this person. You're waiting to see if this person is going to put in more effort and put in more time to, to grow this relationship with you. I feel like you're hoping. But at the same time, with the star in reverse, you're also losing hope. The more time passes by, the more, lo the more you lose hope. But it, it looks like you really want this person or you really want this relationship. But it's not up to you. Um, it kind of looks like it's up to this other person. So it's, it's a situation where um, control is not in your hands. You can, you can show up in this relationship, but the other person needs to show up as well. And I feel like that's what's happening here. Like you're showing up, but this other person's not showing up. And uh, again, you're starting to lose the faith. You're, you're starting to lose the faith that this will ever, this relationship will ever um, evolve. Okay. All right, let's see your person's energy now. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person that Cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit.
All right, here we go. So in your person's energy, we have the Two of Wands. We have the Page of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Knight of Cups, um, the Eight of Swords, Justice, and the Hermit. All right. Both of you have the Page of Swords energy, interestingly enough. Both of you are watching each other. This per uh, you're watching this person, and this person is watching you. It almost feels like this person is waiting for you as well. This person definitely wants to talk to you and have a conversation with you is what I'm getting about the relationship it feels to me like this person actually wants to um, heal the relationship repair the relationship create stability and balance with you but i don't know why they're waiting for you and they're watching you tell me about the page of swords Page of Cups, ooh, the devil. Page of Cups in reverse to the devil. To the hangman. Yeah, like I said, this person's waiting here. With the devil energy. So it's kind of like this person wants you to be vulnerable first. They want you to be vulnerable first. They want you to be... Um, they want you to speak up first about your feelings and about what you want. If there was some sort of breakup or separation here, I feel like this person wants you to like um, try to repair things first. Uh, wait a sec. I don't understand this person. Hold on. What is this person waiting for with the hangman? Page of Wands. Yeah, they're waiting for messages from you. They, it's like they want to see first if you're going to put in the effort before they put in the effort. Because this person wants to put in the effort to repair the relationship with you and make amends with you. Um, again, justice is in reverse, so it looks like there was, a, there was a falling out between the two of you. They want to see if you do it first before they, repair, before they put in the effort to repair things with you. It's like they want validation or they want confirmation that you're interested before they show you that they're interested. It's coming from a place of, you know, them not wanting to look stupid or them not wanting to look foolish. Um, you know, them not wanting to like be the vulnerable one first. Uh, it's it's coming from a place of ego, you know, basically. They, they, they are a little bit fearful of being rejected or about, you know, looking like a fool. They're not really sure, basically, with the Page of Swords. It's kind of like they don't know where you stand or like they don't know what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what you're wanting. So they don't want to assume. They don't want to assume that you want to repair the relationship with them, that you're interested in in getting back together with them and healing the relationship with them. They don't want to assume that and, and then be wrong about it, you know? So that's why they're waiting to see some indication on your end that you're interested in in getting back together, basically, or in fixing this relationship with them. And the moment they receive that confirmation, I feel like then this person will feel comfortable to move forward with you and, and put in the effort to repair and heal the relationship with you, because that is what they want. 
there's they just don't want to like look like a fool is what i'm getting like assume that you want what they want and then end up being incorrect you know basically like i said they they have no idea page of swords they just have no idea where your head is at so they need some sort of like confirmation huh So, and this is for those of you who were like, had some sort of breakup or separation or falling out with each other. All right, Cancer, I'm going to stop the reading here and I'm going to continue in the extended. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at this person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be uh, between you and this person? All right, if you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.